Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coordinator for tutorials. This is our part number 11. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is how to see database table using JSON file. So to understand this topic, we have an article over this blogging website. So if I back to browser, go inside this articles, click on coordinator 4 and inside this articles page, we will find an article that is code igniter for database seeding from json file tutorial so simply if i click on this article link now we will find the complete detail of this video of this article inside this document so first of all to complete the video objective what basically we need we need a code igniter for setup so if i back to code editor so here we have a code writer for setup and this setup has connected with a database so if we go inside this .env file scroll down and here so you can see that this application now connected with a database so if i back to database now right now there is no table inside this database so first objective means we need a setup completed now next we need to connect with the database means completed and then we need a table and a json file because we are going to dump and seed json file data inside a table so to create a table inside this database we have two options first option either we can make via this manual tool simply we need to pass the table name number of columns click on go and then we need to pass the column name and the data type values and the second which is the best option for code igniter developers is by making use of code igniter for migration by using the concept of migration we can create a table structure also we can say table schema so concept of migration you will find inside this article so if i scroll down so here create database already we have created and connected with the application now next we need to connect our database with the application and here we have a topic that is create migration so simply to create a migration we need to make use of our spark command that is php spark make migration and we need to pass the migration name so simply inside this article we are creating a country stable giving a structure by using migration concept and after creating country stable inside database we are preparing our json data right here as you can see a preview of that and by using the concept of coordinator for model simply we are seeding json data inside countries table here we have the country model if i scroll down creating data seeder here as we can see that we are creating country seeder and finally inside this php file we have written a piece of code in which we are reading a json file and dumping our data inside countries table and finally as we can see that here we have the entries inside our countries table so let's see all these things in action so first of all we will create a migration file and by the help of that migration file we will create a countries table inside this database so if i back to terminal the same application is open inside this terminal if i type the command call php spark press enter now php spark will list all the available commands of spark now here inside this generators we can see we have a command called make colon migration and here we have a description that is generates a new migration file so we will make use of this make migration command so if i clear this console let's say php spark make migration we are creating countries table so create underscore countries underscore table if i press enter and it has created a migration file at this folder structure if i go inside this editor reload this directory structure go inside this app 
database migrations and inside this migrations folder we can see we have a PHP file so if I open this file now inside this create countries table it's a class which is extending migration here we have two methods one is for up method and one is for down method it means up method is used when we are creating the structure and if we are dropping our structure from database then down method automatically gets used so to save time if i back to browser go inside this article if i copy the whole code of this create countries table copying here back to editor get rid of this existing code and pasting it here if i save this file now inside this code simply we are making use of this forge instance by using these methods called add field add primary key and create table simply we are creating a countries table with all these columns in which it is auto increment and primary key and simply inside this down method we are simply dropping our table what we have created now to create this means table inside database or migrate simply back to terminal again if we type called php spark command php spark press enter now inside this list if we go here here we are inside this database we have a command called migrate locates and runs all new migrations against the database so simply as we know that we have created a migration so to run that migration we need to run php spark migrate if i press enter running all new migrations actually it is creating the table structure created successfully if i back to browser go and reload this database structure now here as we can see that we have a countries table so currently inside this table we don't have any rows now next we need a json file so if i scroll down here we are preparing json data so simply if i click on this button to download that download button not providing a set of json data inside this json data we have a country's array inside this array we have several objects and inside each object means inside single object we have few properties called id sort name name and phone code means total number of columns total number of properties equals to 4 if i back to table click on countries go inside a structure so inside this countries table also we have created four different columns we are reading this json data of these four properties after reading these four values simply we need to insert inside this table back to article so when you will download the given file it will be in .txt format as you can see it is countries hyphen data dot txt so rename file into dot json and place this countries hyphen data dot json file inside public forward slash data folder so simply first of all we to download this file so how can we download right click click on save as after clicking now next we need to save countries hyphen data dot json so successfully now we have downloaded now next we need to move that downloaded file inside public data folder we need to go inside public folder we need to create a data folder and we need to place the downloaded json file inside this data folder and keep in mind we need to give the proper permission to read this file if i back terminal currently we are inside this setup so i am giving the permission to this file
and successfully I have given the proper permission to read that file. If you are using Windows operating system, then no need to give permission because automatically operating system will take care of. Now next, we need to create a cedar file. Inside that cedar file, we will read that JSON file and seed our data inside countries table. So if I go inside this blog article, create model. So we need to create a model, PHP Spark make model, PHP Spark make model, and we will create country and adding a suffix. It means it will create a file called country model.php. So if I press enter, country model.php created. If I go inside this code editor, reload this directory structure, when we create model, it will go inside app, models folder and here we have country model.php and here as we can see inside this table property, table variable, we have country's table name. Now next, if I scroll down, we need to create a data seeder file and one more thing inside this model also we need to write all the columns what we have inside this country table because we want we want to allow the permission to insert the values inside those columns so inside a lot fields variable it's an array inside this array we need to pass the column name so here we have id sort name so if i pass id next we have sort name Next we have name and finally we have phone code. So copy and pasting it here. To create a data seeder, if I back to terminal and if I type PHP Spark, press enter. So inside these generators, also we can see we have a command called make colon seeder. Look at this description. It generates a new seeder file. So let's create a country seeder php php spark make seeder we need to pass the seeder class name so here it will be country and I will pass a fix as a flag it means that it will create country seeder.php file so if I press enter as we can see that country seeder.php has been created inside database and seeds folder. If I back to editor, reload this directory structure, go inside this app, database, seeds and here we have country seeder.php file. Inside this country seeder class which is extending seeder class we have a run method. So inside this run method we need to read our JSON file and seed those data inside country stable. If I back to blog article, scroll down. So to save time first of all if I will copy the whole code of this country seeder.php, go and remove this existing code and pasting it here. So inside this country seeder.php file, simply first of all we have imported our country model what we have created because by the help of this country model we are creating an object and by the help of that object we will insert our data inside database table. Next inside country seeder class we have a run method and inside this run method the first line is all about reading our JSON file from public folder and data folder. After getting all the contents of that file we are storing that and JSON decoding because as we know that inside this file we have JSON data so simply we are decoding that and inside these countries we have all the list of data what basically this file provides. Now next we are iterating over each data by key value pairs and simply we are inserting value.sort name, value name, value phone code and inserting inside our table. Now finally we have a cedar file. Now next 
we need to seed the dummy data of this countries-data.json file inside our countries table so we need to execute this country seeder file so to seed this file if I back to terminal let's type php spark one more time and if we go inside this database section we will see a command called db colon seed look at the description runs the specified seeder to populate known data into the database so how can we make use of db seed command php spark db colon seed and now next we need to pass our seeder class name so in this case we have the seeder class name as country seeder so we need to copy go here pasting it here and if we press enter we need to wait for a while because it is inserting the data from our json file inside our country's table and successfully as we can see that data seeded successfully if i back to browser go inside this database country's table and if I reload the directory structure means our structure of this database look at these countries we have now 246 number of rows if I click on this countries table now as we can see that we have all the data like ID sort name name and the phone code all the data inserted into the same manner what we have inside this JSON file what we have downloaded so successfully guys inside this video we have seen the concept that is how to seed a json file inside a database table so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day